folks. What's going on there? Earthmaster here jumping in on this beautiful Wednesday evening about 9.07 p.m. on this uh, June 16th, 2021 date. And of course, 9.07 p.m. West Coast time here and uh, I, uh, I try to always get an update uh, somewhat early, but the sun's still out. I mean, well, at least it's still light out here in the sky. Um, of course, uh, that's going to continue for a few more days before we finally uh, get darker and darker in the evening. Um, I kind of like it when it gets dark early. I don't like it when it's still light out after 9 o'clock. Kind of messes with my sleep cycle. Latest quake, a 2.6 earthquake striking out here into the California region. You can check that out here on the earthquake uh, map here from the USGS folks with all their specialized equipment out there. 2.6 north of Truckee. Of course, Lake Tahoe sits down here into the area of Nevada, California border right there. This area is uh, prone to some earthquake activity as we've seen over the past few weeks. Uh, we looked at quite a bit of seismic activity increasing along the coastal ranges here of California. And now we're starting to see a little bit of movement along the eastern edge of the Sierra Nevadas. We've seen that yesterday as well, and, and in fact the day before, but uh, latest quake, that 2.6 up there. Uh, northwest of the Lake Tahoe area, we haven't seen any more movement in Lake Tahoe, or I should say underneath Lake Tahoe, but uh, still uh, looking for potential up there. Uh, for earthquake activity to continue uh, for a little while. Uh, moving down south here uh, into parts of the San Joaquin Valley, a little bit of earthquake activity out here around the uh, Fairmead area. Not for sure exactly what's going on out there. Chowchilla, uh, Madera, Fresno area. Um, I can't say that's a beautiful area, sorry, but uh, <laughs> a lot of farmland out there, there's no doubt. I just, a lot of traffic as well. I just don't like driving down that area. A uh, little, little earthquake out there. And also to the west here into the uh, Diablo range. Nah, not too close to Mount Diablo, but a little, little bit of earthquake near Los Banos, uh, South Dos Palos. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I'm not excellent with the uh, pronunciation tonight. tonight. But uh, you can see it right there on the map, a little bit of earthquake activity. This one's kind of deep here, that 1.7. Uh, into the mountain ranges there, just to the east side of it. Uh, a little bit further to the west, along the infam infamous San Andreas Fault System. Off of it, uh, looks like uh, 2.6 and a little uh, 1.7 there, just to the west. Nothing specifically on the San Andreas Fault tonight, but it's always good to watch the areas. Uh, well, right, a major plate boundary such as the San Andreas Fault. You want to watch. Uh, activity to the west and east of it wherever right all around it it's something to watch pretty closely it's a major player in uh, plate tectonics the major player um, geyser activity still continuing that's gonna continue and it's been continuing for many 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 years and years uh, just a lot of stuff going on down there I do want to get down there and check out the uh, hydrothermal type uh, power plant that's down there a lot of uh, cool stuff to check out, but um, last time I checked, they were closed, and I'm not for sure if it was due to, or if it's just closed to the public, or just due to the uh, COVID, you know, the, the stuff that's going on uh, with the virus, but uh, I still want to get down there. Definitely want to get down there and see what's going on. Uh, what else we got here? A couple small earthquakes there around the south of Clear Lake area. Out in the mountains there, Hidden Valley, seeing that 2.3. Uh, a little sporadic earthquake activity in the coastal range. That's not a big deal. Uh, 2.8 up to the north as well. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, 3.1 near Willow, or 2.0 near Willow Creek. So overall, seismic activity kind of dwindling down if you look at the map here, uh, as far as Southern California earthquake activity goes. And this includes the swarming activity in the Salton Sea region. Not a whole lot of movement, dying down folks, but still watching this area very closely. Uh, only 30 microquakes over the last 24 hours, but uh, it hasn't died out completely. You can see kind of a line of earthquake activity here in this region. Um, just still watching this, this Southern California area for, for a little while. 
Okay, I'm not saying uh, the danger is over yet uh, for a major quake out there. It's just uh, uh, seismic activity kind of on the dwindling side for the moment. Um, up here to the north, a little bit of movement near Big Bear City. Uh, Big Bear Lake area seeing some earthquake activity. A couple of small microquakes uh, over the last hour. This is north e uh, yeah, northeast of San Bernardino. Uh, Redlands area, Loma Linda. Up there way past the mountains on the north. It uh, looks like northeast side. On the North American plate. That's, that's going to be the east side of this uh, plate boundary. Um, uh, what else have we got here, folks? Scattered explosions across eastern Washington. There's like a bunch of them. Uh, the key right here will show you non-earthquake, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, a couple earthquakes out there. I mean, a couple explosions going on. These could be query blasts. You know, who knows what, what's going on there uh, with that stuff. Uh, as far as the Cascade Volcanoes, a couple small microquakes around Mount Rainier. Uh, Mount St. Helens looks quite tonight. Little one near Mount Hood. Uh, my voice kind of pitched up a little bit. Not for sure why. I'm well past that age of <laughs> growing up. Uh, Vancouver, a little bit of movement up there as well. Uh, let's take a look internationally. Uh, Japan, very, very quiet right now. Northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. That's uh, always a sign to watch right there. Still expecting, uh, still expecting, right? been saying it for quite some time the next major quake that's a strike out there it's been the absent uh it's been very absent in uh significant earthquake activity over the last few months so still kind of watching that area china seen a little bit of movement out there uh 5.5 striking out there uh and also some movement along the san or the uh indonesia area and also down through fiji once again of course, Fiji, right? Every time we look at earthquake activity in Fiji, it's always, always deep movement. A duo of 4.4s right there, 558 kilometers below the surface there. Uh, pretty significant deep movement. Uh, Hawaii, looking, uh, looking active, folks, but nothing worth a while far as any heightened earthquake activity or volcanic activity. Um, I do want to point out some, some activity in the North American continent here in the States. See this line of activity stretching up here, kind of at the southern end of the old North American Craton, which kind of extends up this way. If you can outline, oh my gosh, why is there a gnat in here? Um, if you can outline this area right here around the Rocky Mountains down through this region right here, it's a relatively stable over the last oh, few hundred million years or so of uh, as far as plate tectonics go. We'll always see a line of movement right around the uh, North American Craton. I'll have to do another uh, in-depth, detailed video about that uh, later on for those that haven't seen or don't know too much about the North American Craton. So movement stre uh, stretching up. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get this gnat. Okay. Stay away. Um, from Pecos all the way up to Oklahoma, look at this a swarm of activity here north, uh, north, yeah, northeast of Oklahoma City, Chandler area, seeing a swarm of earthquakes about five or so within the last, uh, over, over the last uh, few hours or so, 24 hours. And I'm not for sure exactly what's out there. I can only guess. I can only guess, folks, um, of the... Uh, of the fracking operations taking place out there. And it's, it's no surprise. There's fracking operations all over Oklahoma, Kansas, northern Texas, uh, southern California area. And there's definitely no surprise here with the fracking and pumping operations scattered about the landscape here. Uh, you can see it uh, roughly about four to seven kilometers below surface. Enough said uh, in that department. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Towards the east, the line of activity continues into Arkansas, into Tennessee, up around the new Madrid fault system there. We talked about some microquakes taking place there. That's uh, once again uh, happening over the last 24. And uh, through Tennessee into parts of North Carolina, uh, Vir actually Virginia area, a couple small microquakes taking place. So while these are not major earthquakes, folks, it shows you the dynamics of what's going on worldwide or at least regional 
here along the North American plate, the North American uh, Craton region. Um, you know, the Appalachian Mountains and Rocky Mountains, all this stuff was formed over, you know, lots and lots of time. And uh, there's, there's a reason why they formed up against that North American Craton area, which is, uh, um, like I said, I'll do a video, a little bit further video, uh, detailed video later on so we can cover that once again. Um, 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 um. So yeah, still watch this area. North American plate movement, uh, pretty active right now. Uh, South America looking pretty quiet, although a deep earthquake, 4.5, uh, 202 kilometers into the Argentina region, down dip, downstream into that uh, Peru-Chile trench area. Far as, there we go, once again, into the Southern Oregon, Southwest Oregon area of the Trimmer, right? Cascadia Trimmer, 136 epicenters of Trimmer taking place again in this region. We're watching it, folks. Uh, we've seen significant movement over here in this area for weeks. I mean, it was just, it was nonstop trimmer in this area. Hundreds per day, m way more than what we're seeing today. Uh, and that lasted for a couple weeks. It died down and uh, looks like it may be picking back up. And that could be significant and some uh, significant information and scientific study for uh, geologists and seismologists. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, so, yeah. Solar weather still kind of watching that uh, tonight. And well, it looks like they may have dropped it down. You see that? Looks like things dropped down a little bit. Not as significant as they uh, had expected. Things are dying down into the KP32 index area. Um, yeah, that was all coming from that coronal hole, which is outlined. Uh, from the folks at the solarham.net website. I uh, love this website. They have a lot of useful information there. Uh, Aurora, Aurora forecast, um, uh, global delayer absorption. That's from the, uh, if you get some major, major solar flares and whatnot, radio blackouts, uh, some CME tracking. Uh, speed, solar speed, density, all that stuff dropped off dramatically. Uh, there is. Uh, as far as density goes, there's still a little bit of heightened speed, but not much. That's not significant. Temperature in the K uh, region, not significant either. Just, uh, yeah, just kind of, I can see why they dropped the detailed three-day geomagnetic forecast down. Um, but still, possibility, it looks, you know, 60% up in the higher latitudes, 25% there in the mid-latitudes. I've seen the... Uh, uh, some geomagnetic storming up there in the atmosphere so all right folks i am going to jump off of here i have some uh dinner cooking on the barbecue i'm all not almost seems like i'm always barbecuing it's just it never fails i love to barbecue that's something i do yellowstone national park pretty quiet folks not even worth mentioning i'm really surprised we haven't seen any any type of movement up here it's kind of worrisome very worse worrisome um, that doesn't mean anything volcanic is building I just think the next swarm that we're going to see uh, is going to be pretty significant. All right, guys, um, have a good night. Uh, make sure uh, keep your eyes out for the 50K subscriber giveaway video. I'm still working on it. Of course, uh, a lot of you folks know a lot of stuff going on in my personal life at the moment. Significant stuff going on. Uh, it's putting a few things on pause, on hold. But uh, it will be happening. It will be happening here pretty soon. And we'll get the show going on the road with a giveaway. And uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, Missy uh, Mimi's is going to help me out with that. We're going to do a live video. We're going to, we're both going to be on live video and uh, giving away some prizes and stuff like that to a couple of folks. So look for that in the future. In the meantime, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there. And always, uh, we'll catch you guys here another time. Peace out.